Yeah, my face is falling off. Falling off. guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl kinesthetic and i'm here with you guys today to introduce i don't want to say the first video but i guess like the formal introduction of a skincare series on my channel i announced it on my instagram yesterday and you guys had such positive feedback so we're here today with the first video in today's video i will be giving you guys a full review as well as information that you need to know about a jesna's chemical peel if you don't know what that is and that's more of a reason for you to keep watching okay sis so before we get started make sure you guys subscribe to my channel hit that red subscribe button down below y'all know what y'all gotta do chemist 2019 is starting in a week and a half and i am so excited make sure you guys give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoy Hey y'all, sorry for the brief interruption, but make sure you guys read the message on the screen before you watch the rest of this video. Oh, hey y'all. Let me put this on. Hey y'all, so I'm home from my esthetician appointment and I just wanted to show you guys my skin. So we did our second peel today and this is the Jessner's peel. So, once again, I'll be documenting how my face looks throughout the days. But I just wanted to give you guys a before so that as we go through, we can have a basis to compare it to. But um, this pill stung like five times worse than the first one. And I'm whispering because I'm tired. Like, I was about to go to sleep and I'm like, let me record my face before so that we can have a consistent basis of where we started my lips are mad dry but this is how my face is looking right now and so the appointment today we did three passes of laser um and we did the peel and we did led light so um yeah i'm really excited i want to see how this peel is going to be compared to my first one the first one that i did was less intense she said so this one we should expect more peeling so i'm like super excited slash low-key nervous um i'm hoping that everything is done by monday today is wednesday november 13th and i'm hoping by monday i look decent so that i can go to work without having to explain to people why my face is like falling off but um yeah this is how we're looking i'll go ahead and insert some photos so that we can use those for a consistent before and after but i'm going to bed because i'm tired hey y'all so today is november 14th i don't know how to hold this i'm like not look weird hmm. okay so today is november 14th so this is the next day and it's currently evening I think this video, I'm just going to give you guys evening updates because my life is crazy. But this is how my skin is looking. No peeling yet. Um, a little bit of purging. And yeah, so I'm going to do my nighttime skincare routine with just my post-procedure kit. No aloe, no of none of the other products that I've been using. And... I'll check in with you guys tomorrow. Hey y'all, so I know I said I'm only checking it at night, but I went to the supermarket and my face was fine when I left. It just felt like a little tight, you know? And I came back and I'm peeling. I'm already peeling. Like this is faster than the first time, but this peel, as I mentioned, is stronger than the one we did the last time. But my face looks so crazy. Like it looks like dark and high craterish but i have a nail appointment in two hours and i'm still going because my nails are crusty so 
I'll check in with you guys later. But I just wanted to give you an update since I started seeing peeling. You can also see my skin is like so tight. Look at it. <laughs> and we have some peeling here. You can see like here how my skin is like really tight. So yeah, I'm gonna go get my nails done and then I'm coming back inside and I'm not going anywhere for the rest of the day. I'm not going anywhere. Oh, I have a pedicure appointment tomorrow. Um, but yeah, so I'll see you guys later. Hey y'all, so I just came from getting my nails done and my face looks and feels crazy. So this is how my skin is looking right now. It is peeling mainly around my mouth area right now. And it feels so dry, so I've moisturized it at least three times for the day, and it's only like 2.30 p.m., so I'm going to go ahead and I'll check in at night, but we can already see like the smoothness in our skin texture from like the peeling and also the laser treatment, so yeah. So guys, this is how my face is looking right now. It's the night of November 15th, so I got my pill on, applied on Wednesday and this is how we're looking right now we have a lot more peeling in a faster period of time than last time um but yeah we can see like how smooth my skin is but i feel like this area is gonna peel because it's still like tight i don't know if you guys can see it this area maybe my forehead i don't know my forehead didn't peel last time and it also doesn't feel tight so we'll see and my hair looks crazy. I'm about to wash it right now. But it's not your business. We focus on the face of this video. Period. Hey, you guys. So today is Sunday, November 17th. And this is how my skin is looking. The peeling has calmed down a bit. We still have a lot of peeling in, like, my T-zone area. So, um, yeah. And then we have a little bit of purging that I'm waiting to go down. But, um... I feel like my pill is almost over. We shall see. I'm hoping to post this video by Wednesday. So we shall see how our skin is looking by then. But this is what we're looking like right now. Hey, you guys. So today is Monday, November 18th. So almost one week after receiving our pill. And this is how the skin is looking. This is how the skin is looking. This is how the skin is looking, okay? So I still have a little bit of peeling going on on my forehead, as you guys can see right here. And on my nose. So I'm hoping that's gone by tomorrow. Tomorrow I'm going to review well tomorrow i'm gonna take like my after pictures as well as give you guys my overall review on the peel i'm also going to provide you guys with some information because when i go to my esthetician i sit there during my two-hour appointment and i ask her a whole bunch of questions related to skincare relating to ingredients relating to questions that you guys asked under my first chemical peel video so i'll be addressing most of those questions in the next clip of this video but yeah my skin looks so good like after i get rid of this hyperpigmentation i'm coming for everybody okay everybody so also i made one more change in my diet which i'm hoping will do the trick of minimal breakouts from here on out i'm gonna try it out and we'll see if it makes the change that i'm expecting it to but once i experiment with it i will let you guys know i'm also going to record a video of products that made me break out that i tried out some products were overhyped some products like everyone swears by and when i tried it i was just like this right here was caused by one of those products so that video will be up next week but i'm gonna cut this clip now because i'm just chatting and i'll be back tomorrow to show you guys my final skin after the pill as well as my overall review so yeah so i'm back our skin is basically done peeling now and this is how we are looking i'll go ahead and put some before and after pictures on the screen so you guys can see what the skin went through what it's looking like now and yeah i'm really excited because it looks way better than i thought it would like i legit have like no bumps on my cheeks my forehead i have like 
some little bumps here but i feel like those are gonna go away soon so now our major concern is hyperpigmentation so i have another pill scheduled for next month and um i am making some more changes in my diet some more changes in my skincare routine so hopefully those will help out with curing this hyperpigmentation but once we figure it out it's over for all of you okay so now i just wanted to go through and give you guys some information about the pill that i received this month so let me pull up my notes so i don't forget to tell you guys anything so the pill that i received was the jesmine's pill and what the jesmine pill does is basically remove the top layers of your skin to reveal smoother more even skin toned um skin layers that are underneath so that's why we actually experience the peeling because the top layer layers of our skin is actually like going away and it's like revealing the layers that are underneath so the process of a jesmine's peel when my acetician did it she basically mixed together acids that she knew and she thought would work on my skin based on you know what we had going on and she put that on my skin sealed it in activated it and then i went with my separate way and I experienced my peeling on my own so before you go in for an appointment with an acetation whether it's for a peel or not I would recommend and they also recommend not to use any retinoids or retinols seven days before your appointment those basically don't work well with the acids that they use during your treatment in the salon so you don't ever want to be in a situation where you can't get the treatment that they want to give you because you were using like the harsh retinoids and retinols on your skin everything else i do on the regular like my diet is fine my skincare routine is consistent so everything else i keep the same the only thing is no retinoids and no retinols seven days before your appointment so some of you guys might be curious, might be wondering what benefits does a chemical pill and specifically the Jesmine's chemical pill have for your skin. And some of them include that they reduce dark patches and age spots. So I did notice that um, some of my dark spots did go away or fade down a little bit. Um, but with dark spots, the older they are, the harder and the more stubborn they are to get away. Also, our skin develops layers so often that the longer you have a mark on your skin without directly like targeting with products or whatever, um, it's going to be harder for you to get to that dark spot because it's under all of those layers of skin, if that makes sense. So with the chemical peel... It's good because it basically strips away some layers from our face. So when we continue with our skincare routines and we do things that help us reduce dark spots, they actually are more effective because they're closer to the actual, the actual source of the dark spot. So that's one thing I wanted to know. It also helps to even out our skin tone, which I noticed my forehead is known like for years of being way darker than the rest of my face. And now, I mean, it's still darker than the rest of my face, but it's not like distinctly darker than the rest of my face but my forehead was like so dark but i feel like now my skin tone is more even across the board it also helps to reduce the appearance of scars so i have some ice pick scars in these areas of my face um but i feel like they're not as noticeable anymore like before when i looked in the mirror i was able to see like that indent but i don't really see it as much anymore and also the acne laser treatments that i do helps that too so um if you have like ice pick scars from like picking at acne or anything else the peel as well as the acne laser treatment can and will help you with that it helps to smooth fine lines and wrinkles and it helps to treat hyperpigmentation and acne scars which we have seen i'm so high my skin looks so good y'all like y'all might be looking at it like girl your skin is not anywhere near perfect but to me this is a huge step up okay it's a huge step up next question or thing you might be wondering is can i do this at home and sure you could probably do it at home but i would highly recommend going to an aesthetician someone who knows and is experienced with peels to do it for you because if you do a chemical peel wrong you can cause damage that takes years to reverse and to just prevent that, spend the coin, go to an aesthetician, specifically an aesthetician that has experience with African American skin. That has experience with African American skin. I'm going to emphasize that. Um, and just spend the coin and let them do it for you. Like, it's so much 
like it's less of a burden to just get it done right the first time versus trying to save a little coin doing it at home yourself and you're not doing it right so i would just recommend going to an esthetician going to a professional and getting it done the next thing i wanted to address while we're on this topic is so a lot of you guys had questions in my first video where i reviewed my chemical pill and you guys were asking me did i get a vip pill honestly i didn't know what a vip was so i brought that question to my esthetician this time and i asked her like you know some of my followers some of my subscribers were inquiring if i got a vip done and she was just like no it was a pca pill and um she was explaining that vip pills are not healthy at all for african-american skin they contain a lot of alcohol which basically dries out your skin and i guess with the amount of alcohols that they have once again i'm not an esthetician i'm not a dermatologist i'm just here to share information that i get from the research that i do by asking questions and looking stuff up online so y'all can listen to me but i would highly recommend for you guys to run with this information and do your own research vip pills have a lot of alcohol which dries out your skin also they tend to burn people who are african-american just because our skin has melanin you know so those pills are more formulated for the people who don't have melanin in their skin and it's not recommended at all if you have melanin in your skin if you are african-american stay far away from it but i just wanted to throw that out there because i don't know if that's the most recommended pill by dermatologists but Y'all can't listen to them all the time, okay? Make sure you do your research and then go from there. So some side effects of the Jasmine's Peel is redness and swelling. I didn't really experience any of those. My skin was super sensitive and I tried to stay out of the sun. And even when I went outside, I wore like a cap with a scarf and a hoodie. I was just trying to make sure my skin was extra protected from the sun and from UV rays. Um, you experience peeling, which we saw, and stinging or burning. But I only experienced stinging and burning when the peel was actually applied to my face, not afterwards. So that's just something that I wanted to know. And if you notice things such as permanent darkening or lightening of your skin, scarring or an infection, you want to like contact your esthetician or the professional who gave it to you right away and let them know these signs so that they can you know see what's going on my esthetician the first pill that i did on october 11th it was basically like a step down version of the jasmine's pill because she just wanted to make sure that my skin would react well to the pill she didn't want to just jump right into it and the next thing you know my skin had a negative reaction so um the fact that she saw the first pill was fine for me she was like okay we're stepping it up and i'm like yes sis, we're stepping it up because i need my skin to be looking good for my next vacation okay so some tips on how to take care of your skin after you have that pill applied is first you want to make sure that you moisturize frequently so what i would do is i would wash my face three times a day and each time i washed it the morning and afternoon i would apply like spf plus moisturizers and then morning afternoon and night i would apply moisturizers and i will go in with a heavy hand because i wanted to make sure my skin was well moisturized um you never want to pick or peel or rub your skin so i know like you know it's tempting when you see the flaking coming off but no sis it's gonna come off on its own so let it be and don't disturb the process prevent any sun exposure so i was inside most of the time the um jessen's peel is way different from a vi peel vi peel is a tca peel and those peels require you to be like a vampire like you have to be inside with the blinds closed and all of that but with my peel like it was okay to get a little sun exposure but for me to be like outside like on vacation on a beach no i just felt more comfortable being inside especially with my skin peeling off i didn't need anybody asking me questions or any of that so i just prefer to stay inside i did have a nail appointment while i was peeling and i went to get my nails and my toes done but other than that i stayed inside because i had no business outside that's about it so i hope i provided you guys with some good information that you guys can go ahead and include in your skincare routine as well as consider if you are interested in getting a chemical peel if it's something that interests you especially after watching this video um i hope this helped out so make sure you guys subscribe to my channel before you guys head out. Give this video a big thumbs up. If you guys have any comments, drop them down below. If I can't answer them, I'll bring them back to my esthetician next month. And then come back to y'all in my next month's video with the answers. So 
hope you guys are enjoying these videos um coming on here and sharing my skincare routine isn't easy but i do it just because i'm one girl like i don't give a freak about what anybody has to say i don't really care what people think it's okay to me because i'm just like listen once this once this passes like i'm gonna be up bad okay so i'm just here to show you guys my journey and i hope you guys are enjoying i hope you guys are keeping up and until my next video i will see you all later Bye.